Fox. You can go ahead. All right. <laughs> In the bottom right, here on Frost, it is a man who is hanging out currently in Masters. It is Flux. And on the top right of Frost, we have the Teal Protoss Eilic Probes. I would like to remind everyone that this is a game three. They did play two previous games a week ago, but then due to technical difficulties, we had to postpone the third match. Finally taking their care of that here tonight. Real excited. Those both were some awesome games, too. Um, from what I remember on that game on Polar Night, it was clear that Flux has a pretty good mastery of uh, Zerg Macro going up to five bases before the 10 minute mark. Yeah. Well, you know, you're, you're right. It is starting to come back to me a little bit what happened in that game. Uh, as I recall, like, one yeah, player we, showing a very, very all... strong macro game, and I believe the second one was more aggressive. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I think he. I can't remember if he actually did like a some sort of pull <laughs> in or something. I, I, I wish I actually had the replay to go through it before uh, we started this, but that's all right. Yeah, my bad. <laughs> that's fine. I mean, I'm okay. sure this will be a fantastic game regardless. I've been working through that. Most of the vods from the previous weekend, I think I should be able to get them up tonight. Pretty much everything except one of them is uploaded, but it's like directly in the middle, so it's kind of preventing me from just making it yeah. public. But unrelated, <sighs> but I really like how the probes look in this color on this map. Oh my gosh, yeah. they look pretty sweet. Oh, I see and everything. Yeah, <laughs> especially um, if you get that corner. Obviously, if yeah, I guess all the bay main bases are all polar, kind of like snowy. Well, it is called frost, so. Yes. Well, <laughs> I was thinking kind of back to the way they do it with Yonsu, where half the map's green, yeah. half the map's white. And this one's like spattered yeah. all, all over the place. That reminds me of another. Uh, Whoa, Flux. I can't remember. Yeah, wow. Well, yeah. <laughs> That's their incredibly base. economically aggressive, which is also mm -hmm. known as passive, like hella passive. But <laughs> going double hatch before pool. I guess he's really That's not expecting his opponent to be aggressive at all, which is crazy given the way the last game went. I don't know. Uh, what do you think about this placement of this base here, this third base, um, as opposed to you know placing it down there on the left? He, he doesn't. That, okay, so he, he he does know where his butt it is. So I don't know if that's kind of a a vulnerable place for that third base there. Uh, it is. I mean, uh, on the one hand, with Protoss, I think the way that it's really good to think of it is, if they're going for a gateway rush of any kind, they're not restricted by distance anyway. Yeah. As long as they can get that pylon up. But if they do go for some kind of air attack, that positioning is really bad for Flux. Because yeah. they can just kind of set up behind the base and start shooting at it. And he can't really do a lot about that unless he has a flying army of his own. Though, to yes. be frank, I think given how early the Zerg has scouted the Protoss in this situation, that probably won't matter because I think he'll be able to pick up on anything coming at him. Yeah, I mean, Probes has not done... Well, he, he's doing a little bit of scouting now, but he has no idea where his opponent is. Also, or apparently, the fact he's that he uh, has the third base. He's read his Protoss opponent very well here. Uh, Probes mm -hmm. going for the fast expansion, not doing anything completely bananas. One gate, uh, I mean, Ooh, one base. So we do play. see Starkey. Yeah. yeah. Pretty much the only time a Zerg is really super vulnerable to a crazy one base play is when they do double hatch like that. And yeah. Yeah, Probes isn't going for it, so it was a good choice. Good choice. Um, interesting to see if. Uh, Probes goes for an Oracle, or if he just goes straight into Phoenixes. I believe one of the last two games we saw these guys play, we did see some uh, heavy Phoenix stuff out of Hylic Probes. Uh, I could be wrong. That's my fuzzy memory for you. No, no, I think you're right on that. Uh, I think he was going for pretty much standard play, which is not a bad thing to do when you're just scoping out your opponent. You want to know how yeah. good his macro is. But... Uh... Oh, there's an Oracle, man. <laughs> Oh boy. Well, this is definitely not great for Flux. The distance between the second and the third yeah, he, makes he this rallied. really hard to defend with queens. He hasn't rallied down there, so he will find some sort of opportunity to do some damage, especially at that third base, even with the queen there, like you said. Now, the thing is, I'm not sure that Flux is actually aware of that third yet. If he misses it, 
this will work extremely, extremely well. Okay, no, that, that mothership core is going to be like, hey, yeah. what do you have here? Yeah. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, I'm and it's a combined fun. attack with the mothership core. Interesting. But I think Queen's... Okay, all right. Queen's... That Queen's going to fall. Those yeah, the Queen doesn't win in that fight, but it severely limits how much the Oracle can do in terms of damage. Oh, he lost the Oracle, though. That's not too great. Okay, good. Decent defense here. Not too many yeah, lings able to get through. We're still being able to block off a few of those lings there, but some are going to get in. I think those pros will be fine. Does he have yes. Jeez. Lost. As soon as that force skill falls. Yeah, I lost the Mothership Core as well, but I think with these ling run buys, uh, things are just going to be working more and more in the Zerg's favor as time goes on. Yeah. He wasn't able to catch that quite quick enough. I mean, he you know, had a sentry there, but wow, this is not good at all. He's losing a lot of mining time. Well, you know, like it's mining time or lose the game. So <laughs> yeah, that, I mean, that, that is true. You, you can either lose mining time or just lose all your probes. And, and he's actually controlling this fairly well in the situation. Uh, losing, I think he did just lose both of those zealots he just made though. He's got trying to get some revenge there. damage, and he's going to kill the queen at least. No, <laughs> it's or more not. color just what? running away from us. What? All right. Oh, and Flux is pulling. Oh, no. Man. Decided not to pull back instead. This is starting to get all over the place. He yeah, just it really can't is. can't secure the base. This is like he's doing so much great damage over there. I just think the zealots here are going to be able to clean up the lanes. And likewise, back home, the Zerg has stabilized as well, I think. I mean, the pylon's still there, but probably, yeah, with these roaches here, not going to be able to use that to any, any great amount there. So now the pylon off in the back corner. And this army on the ground does pose a serious threat to the Protoss, just because even though he does yeah. have the ability to get air units out, it can kill a lot of stuff before the air units can stop it, so... When we do see the reaction from probes is to drop down that uh, robo facility. Though uh, I don't think it's going to be up fast enough for any sort of immortals. However, I don't know. He could Proto Boost out of Void Ray, and it looks like that's what's going to happen. Though he doesn't have the supply. Ah, no! <laughs> All the worst time for that to happen. Unfortunately. Yeah, yeah that's it's, 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 yeah. Even yeah, even if he stuck around long enough for that Void Ray to get out, it just well, he'd be watching yeah. everything die. Oh, well, yeah, looks like Flux took that series. All right. I was expecting a little bit of a